Hi, hola, welcome to Alpha Dime. Uh, I know it's been a while, but I'm back. Um, it's just Western New York has been through a lot between the snowstorm and then everything that happened with Damar Hamlin. I just needed a little break to recuperate and like get myself together. So here I am. Um, so today we're going to do a simple winged eyeliner, which consists of a black liner and then a colored liner. So it doesn't have to be pink. I just thought I'd do pink since um, we're Valentine's Day is coming up. So I wanted to do pink too in honor of that. And then I also wanted to share a couple of new products that I've um, purchased and that I really, really love. One of them is the one that I use on my eyebrow is the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline. So before I used to do like a brow sculpt and it was just a spoolie, this one, um, you have a wand in here, almost like a lip gloss sponge thing and then you also get a spoolie to spread it out and as you guys can see very very natural so as promised i wanted to do um the unique touch serum foundation with the brush because you know i always use my sponge so what i do is is that i shake it because it's very watery and then and just let whatever's in there out and then just very gently you add a little bit is enough and I believe this is in the color khaki and as always I like pressing the foundation on instead of rubbing it in it's just better because you know the caking doesn't happen if you're constantly rubbing it in and i'm getting my face under control i um started taking medicine for it so i'm hoping my face can clear up because as you know it's my wedding year so i'm super super excited about all of that um it's basically six months away I cannot believe that I waited so long for it and now that it's here I feel like I cannot like believe that it's my wedding year so I'm super duper excited about that um right now I am planning my bridal shower and um I'm getting together like the big day because I want to start sending it over uh, to the hotel where I'm getting married. So all of that is just super duper fun. Um, I will document um, a lot of the stuff so that I can show it to you guys. But as you can see, it's applying itself very flawlessly. And if you want to add more, um, you can. Now we're going to go into um, concealer. I usually do three dots, one line, just to cover the dark spots. And I will be doing uh, two videos today so that I'm ahead of the game and I don't fall behind again. So one video will be this makeup video. And then the next video is going to be a whole bunch of new products that I bought that I really, really like that I've had a chance um, to use. And then you can also use some concealer on like blemishes like I have some over here, here. As you know, your girl's still struggling with the acne. But I swear I'm getting my things together and at least I mapped out my water consumption so that should help a lot. Like I actually calculated how much water I should be consuming in one day. Okay, so I want to show you guys how I use this. So basically I just um, 
take it out of the bottle and then I gently apply towards the end. And then in the front, what I do is that I brush a little bit of it onto the hair itself because I applied a lot towards the end. So then with the spoolie, what you do is that you brush it in. Just like that. And just be careful because you can cause a mess. <laughs> but either way, you can clean it up. And that's how you do it. Um, so for the eyeliner look, what I do is, is that I use my Better Than Sex eyeliner because it is my favorite. Um, I tried a different eyeliner recently and I did not like it. So I know that this is my eyeliner. And I did prime my face before I applied the foundation. That is very important to do because it, um, it sets your face up to have the foundation on. Okay, so the eyeliner that I used for the color is the LA Girl Shockwave. Um, it's a lip liner, but I use it for my eyes and only my eyes. Um, and it's the color Blaze. And what I did was that I started from the tip here and then I just drew a line. And don't worry if you smudge your black part of things because you can add more black to cover the pink. Um, and then with the better than sex, you just go back in there. I keep bending down. And then on the edge, you just reapply. Now, for my lower lid, um, my best friend, Natalie, she uh, recommended the Pixie uh, Silky Eye Pen by Petra. And I absolutely love this pencil um, because it's like a highlighter pixie, like purple color. Um, the name of the color is Brightening Lilac. So I absolutely love it and I just use it on my waterline. Let me sharpen it. Cause that's how much I've been using it on my lower lid. So there you go. So, um, let's do some contouring. Um, I still use the NYX stick because it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to use the same brush since I'm already done applying the foundation to blend that in. And 
and you can use a smaller brush like for your nose. You do not have to do it this way. Now we'll add some highlighter. blusher brush and I have a new blush that I want to try which we'll use um, on this video and then I'll also include it in my other video of products that I bought because I want you to guys I want you guys to see it in action more than anything so I got the Rem Beauty um, called cheek and Li lipstick in the color callback because I wanted um something that was more on like the pink side um so what I'll do is that I'll draw a line here and here just a small line because I don't know how this is gonna blend um a clean blush brush So maybe I could have used less because as you can see, it's very, very pigmented. But we'll just blend it in and see how it works out. And like I always say, I like it in the upward motion. So definitely could have used less, but I feel like it's giving me that natural uh, blush look, which I usually do not get because I am not built that way. <laughs> Let's set our face. We'll use the MAC Fix It. And then for mascara, we'll use the NARS Climax, which is one of my faves now. So always start from the bottom and then you make your way up because that's what helps give your lashes the volume that it needs for the bottom ones i just kind of like stamp it on because i feel like the bottom ones don't need as much go and for lips we'll just keep it simple and we will do lip gloss we'll do the Lux by unique and there you go so i hope you guys like this video um i hope you guys like a couple of the new products that i used and i will definitely be doing a video today for the following week so this video will come out first and then the other video will come out the following week um so as usual we're going to end our video with a quote by robert a schuler um, the quote says, tough times never last, but tough people do. Um, with everything we're all going through right now, I think this quote resonates the most, so I'm glad I found it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you guys next week.